make sure our our GoPro's running. So like I mentioned, we're running this really slick uh, Sedici uh, Padeo jacket. Really nice. I picked that up yesterday. Fits like a champ. And uh, real excited to get out and run it today and see how it feels. We're not running uh, the liner in it. So it's a t-shirt, a riding shirt underneath or over that. And then the jacket, we can always bundle the, uh, the other shirt up if we have to. So uh, looks good feels good I think we're gonna we're gonna be all right with that <sighs> we brought an extra battery today for the GoPro so we're trying to stay on top of our a game here um, we're also running something new on the insta 360 uh, as you can see right here we have the insta 360 uh, GPS remote so we're gonna run that and uh, that should give us the overlays, the data for um, our ride. Distance, miles per hour, stuff of that nature. Should be available with the overlay. So that's enough yapping. Um, jacket fits pretty good, I think. I like it. Let's um let's creep off and see what we can come up with, right? Alright, everything looks good. Let's hit the road. See how it goes. Jacket feels pretty good so far. I can feel a lot of air coming through. We're uh, here in southwestern PA. It's in the 60s. Um, you really do get a lot of airflow through the jacket. I can feel that right now. It's not horrible as far as the chill, but there is a chill. I probably should have worn the liner. But uh, we're going to go ahead and roll with this. The temps are supposed to just increase, so I think we'll be all right. But I think this jacket, this is my first time wearing this jacket. We'll do a... Uh, We'll do an in-depth review after we wear it today so we can talk a little more intelligently about it. But uh, right off the bat here, there's a ton of airflow. I can feel it. If it this is going to be a really good jacket, I think, for the warmer weather. Uh, looks a little sketchy out in front of us. I didn't see any rain in the forecast in my local area. Just a little overcast, so hopefully it just stays like that. We don't have any issues. We're going to go a different route today, something we haven't done before. And the nice thing about that remote is uh, previously, if you wanted to get the overlays, you had to have the app open on your phone. Uh, now we just have a dedicated GPS linked right to the camera I think that's that's a, a little better setup in my opinion so today our loadout is our Sedici Strata 2 helmet our Sedici uh, Padeo riding jacket we have uh, ILM riding gloves on and uh, 
We've got blue jeans and some really heavy duty boots on, some hiking boots that have a reinforced side and a reinforced toe on them. We're running our Insta360 camera with the Insta360 uh, GPS remote. And uh, we've got our GoPro Hero 7 Black as our helmet mounted camera. So uh, that's pretty much our loadout. Not as gorgeous out as the last day we were out riding, but still nice to be out. You get a tremendous amount of airflow through this jacket. This thing will be perfect for uh, the uh, upcoming summer temps. It'll be great. Perfect sleeve fit. I don't know if you see you guys there with the arms bent. Not too short. You've got the CE rated uh, armor protection in the elbows and the shoulders. And uh, you only have the foam protection in the back. We will upgrade that to some CE protection in the back at some point. There is a parade down here in downtown uh, later on today for Memorial Day, so I will have to be cognizant of that. You don't want to uh, get caught up in that if you're not planning on participating, right? It's going to come through the downtown area there. It should be, should be pretty nice. All right, so this is the Elizabeth Bridge. Not a bad view. Some good fishing down there, cat fishing. So we could take the toll road, but I think we'll take some, some back roads. Hit some places a little different. You see I get that damn spin on the 360 up there. It's the actual selfie stick that rotates a little bit. It's not the camera. I don't think it affects the view too bad. We're riding in sport mode again today. So our uh, fuel consumption will be a little higher than normal. Eventually I'd like to get the riding pants too, the Sedici riding pants that match this, uh, this outfit or this uh, jacket. I'm all about the safety man. I think you can be safe and still look pretty good if that's important to you. Riding jackets, in the event that you didn't know, fit a little different when you're running the um, the Riker here. I think a lot of them are designed for uh, that a little more of a uh, aggressive stance of riding on the uh, on the faster type of bikes, the ninja style type bikes. You know, you're more a little more forward. I think. Uh, a lot of the jackets are designed for that kind of a stance.
getting a little sunshine to our back right now that's nice we got a bug hit center master of my vision try to take that off So it's Memorial Day. Make sure you take some time here in the United States, that is. And uh, you want to remember absolutely those folks that have served and uh, given their life uh, in the defense of freedom and aren't able to uh, enjoy these days. Always keep those folks in the back of your mind. Try to do that all the time. That's what today is all about. Ah, I turned the bike off. There we go. That was a mistake. So what we just did there, so you're aware, I was pissing around with the 360 and uh, reached up over the handlebar to twist the, uh, the, the base of the 360 selfie stick and I don't know if you caught it, but I hit the cutoff switch. That is something that I've done uh, three times now. So three times while I'm out riding, I've managed to bump that uh, the cutoff switch right there. I uh, the fact that I've done it that many times, in my opinion, I think that switch would have been better served in a different location. Um, I don't know where. Honestly, I don't. But I know that I have hit the dang thing several times and uh, have put myself in a situation like you just saw there. Where you lose power and you kind of got to get out of the way. That could be, uh, that could be an issue. Um, and again, that's probably uh, my fault. Well, that is my fault. I mean, probably is just an excuse. It is my fault. I screwed that up. So we've never ridden out this way before, so this should all be new scenery for those that are returning back to the channel. Tons of little uh, roads like this in Pennsylvania, and I'm sure every state shares this, this type of thing with the back roads that are a little less traveled that, <clears throat> excuse me. You can get out and see some nice sights. We're going to take a, uh, a left down here at the bottom of the hill and it'll take us out past uh, a really nice creek. You want to bring your kids out and let them play in the water, maybe look for some crawfish or just hang out in the summer and play in it. Really nice creek out here. There's a nice path for the bikes and the walkers and the joggers stuff of that nature it's a really nice area out here and this is the creek here there's a heron right there how about that so uh, we'll make our left here and you'll see all along here to the left there's a creek that runs right there <coughs> excuse me oh look there's someone camping there that's pretty cool There's one of the walker joggers right there. Eventually this will run into a uh, single lane tunnel that you have to be uh, obviously considerate and careful. Beep as you go through so whomever's coming through the other side hopefully they can hear you and you can 
sort it all out. <clears throat> Jacket. Wow, we are getting nailed by the bugs or a little rain. Not sure which. Maybe a little rain? Yeah. Well, that sucks. We usually don't ride in the rain. It's raining. We usually don't ride in the rain. Look at that crick here. We'll have to pull off eventually and get out of this rain it wasn't supposed to rain today there was no rain in the forecast what's up with that uh, looks like our GPS signal still pretty tight look how gorgeous that is over there huh really nice down in these valleys man of course you got to be aware there's uh, a metric ass ton of deer in this area I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it uh, felt appropriate. So we had a little rain shower on the bike, man. How about that? I think these guys are trout fishing, by the way. A lot of, uh, a lot of this stream is uh, stocked. So uh, it holds a lot of fish, a lot of trout. I forgot to mention that earlier. We... Uh, We'll find a spot up here where we can wipe our visor off. We keep a, uh, a really nice uh, lint-free uh, cloth just for that. A little bumpy there on that edge of the road, huh? Wow. This is nice up in here, this neighborhood. We've got that valley now down to our left and we're riding the, uh, the hilltop. So we, uh, we came up a little high there. Four way stop, look at that mutter there. That thing's a beast right there. Look at that. All right. First place that we can pull over that's uh, safe in nature. We'll wipe our windscreen off. Some twisties in here. Evans Park. Maybe we should have crept up in there, huh? This is the uh, time of year when all the deer should be dropping all their, uh, the fawns should be coming. Bears should be on the move. They should have their babies. Turkey season ends tomorrow. They have a really good uh, way of preparing uh, turkey uh, if you're a turkey hunter for me anyways I uh, I really enjoy the uh, turkey breast meat so uh, I'll dress the turkey out and uh, I'll soak the meat overnight in salt water and then um, you take a uh, liberal amount of uh, Thousand Island dressing and a uh, large Ziploc bag and you take another several hours to uh, maybe a day and you soak that in um, in that for a couple hours and you are good to go Look at that. That 
looks pretty good. We're doing we're still we're still recording here. Everything looks good, feels good. Alright. Um I'm not sure. Huh. Alright, so we're good. Let's pull out. didn't check the lens on my camera nor that one probably should have looks clean you'll know if it's not though I can't even remember what the hell I was talking about a moment ago I got sidetracked well Big decision is where do we want to go? We want to go to Bronzeville Road or do we want to go straight? Let's go this way. See what's out here. Montour Trail. That's the trail that cuts along that creek if you were wondering. you guys weren't looking for a ripping and a rolling video I may try to do a little bit of that later maybe I can hook up onto the uh, tool road and the turnpike on the way back maybe I'm not sure but uh, <clears throat> I thought maybe you guys might enjoy these videos where you're kind of uh, out and about or uh, It looks like our, um, everything's still filming. I just assume it's, well, I mean, I know it's going to film. So I'm just, uh, just hoping it gets the overlay. That's the whole purpose for having that. No traffic behind us, so there's no reason to hooch and scooch. Oh, like I was saying, I got I sidetracked myself. Uh, I like uh, sometimes I like just driving around and showing you guys some different things. Maybe you guys enjoy that. You know, there's a, a channel I watch, and I need to start paying attention uh, and uh, making note of the names of these other channels to give them credit and exposure. There's a Riker rider out of uh, the UK that uh, gets out and he drives around London. And, uh, you know, there's a little dialogue that goes with it, but it's mostly just uh, driving around. And that's enjoyable to see someplace different. I've been to London. Been to London three times. And uh, surrounding areas. And so, I mean, it's kind of neat to see them creeping around some areas that you're familiar with this is a nice this is a nice long stretch of road here <clears throat> so south 88 and uh, we can get to the turnpike to the left there you go we were just talking about the turnpike weren't we oh green light wake yourself up so south 88 and we have the turnpike down here so we can get a little scooch on the turnpike if we so desire i think we're coming down into finleyville how about that we did a really big uh we we came out down that way a little while ago or we were down in that vicinity and we've just managed to do a big loop-de-loop -loop. and uh 
<coughs> excuse me we put ourselves in Finleyville so do we want to go 88 south let's check out 88 south if this guy doesn't pull out in front of us nervous there we go railroad tracks up here always got to be cognizant of the tracks because you never know how level they are <coughs> Every issue I've had with the Riker so far, and again, it's just me been turning the damn thing off by accident, has been caused by myself, by me. Beyond that, this thing has run like a champ. We're at uh, 1,488 miles currently. Look at that place. That's a gorgeous home. I don't think you hear enough people talk about this, but uh, you can control your bike, your Riker. The majority of your uh, braking you can do with your your throttle to safely ride the bike, and you really saves you on uh, brake wear. Just be uh, just be aware that if you're if you're stopping and um, behind you, you you do use your your brakes opposed to just your throttle you can use both but make sure you tap your brakes a few times so uh, you make those folks behind you aware of what you're doing just to be safe Mingo Church you know what we uh, I might want to go back that way but I think I think we can catch Mingo Park up here. Mingo Park's a really scenic ride. Really gorgeous place out there. There's a covered bridge. Just really nice. I think we can get into it up here, if I'm not mistaken. It's a nice little homestead there, huh? Creeping down into another valley. I really hope these overlays take. I think that's uh, that'll be a cool little data point. I'm sure some people won't like them, but I think it's cool to see uh, what you're up to and what you're doing. Especially, uh, we do a lot of elevation changes uh, riding through this area. There's the turnpike above us up there. Definitely, uh, we were warming up for a moment, but man, did we catch a chill down here in this bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it damn sure got chilly. So this is our turn for Mingo Creek. That's the uh, turnpike above us. So one way or the other, I think we could sort that out and get up on that and head on back to the house at some point. Looks like you can bring your quad out here. Looks like there's plenty of places to ride it. Yeah, for sure. Look at that. I didn't see anything posted. That's kind of cool. We got a little bit of an uneven road up here. Ugh. <clears throat> that was uh, that was a bit of a bump. So far, it looks like um, our GPS remote has stayed pretty well attached, latched to the uh, Insta 360. Ah, uh, let's take this one a little slower. That last one was uh, a bit of a pain. Ah, that was, uh, what the hell are they doing up here? I guess uh, that's what they're doing. Looks like the road is slumping off to the side there. Yeah, there you go. Park hours, dawn to dusk. 
no hunting <clears throat> so we really need to pay attention down in here tons of wildlife you name it it's in here <clears throat> I think there's black bear deer obviously turkey so so we're heading into Mingo Park If the GPS overview disappears, then obviously all we'll have is the 360 footage, which will still be nice. When they have that festival down here, this place gets packed, man. It is absolutely packed, but it's a lot of fun. It's gorgeous down in here. So we want to go out towards the covered bridge. Um... In all honesty, I can't remember where that's located, but I think we're going to go left. There's a lot to do down in here. Hiking, biking, little sports areas there. Those folks look like they were doing tennis. All kinds of stuff up in here. I mean, this place is jam-packed with stuff for you to bring your family out or you and just have a good day. You can picnic out here, barbecue. They have shelters. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the covered bridge right there. I'll be damned. We'll go down and check that out here in a minute. So we'll go up a piece, come back, and turn down to the covered bridge. Just a huge, really beautiful natural area that's got bits and pieces carved out for you to go out and have a good time. Enjoy the outdoors. actually think I don't know if we can catch it down there or not I definitely think we'll turn around down in here get a little airflow probably change the dynamic of the mic for a moment We're still filming. If you guys are riders from another country, man, share some some links with me. If you go, if you put out some videos, I enjoy the riding videos where you guys get out and look at different stuff in your areas and share. It. <clears throat> on the news you hear all kinds of horrible things about places all over the world but I'm sure there are and is good in all of said locations to include uh, you know here in the United States so it's nice to see nice areas out there that uh, you can share with others and show them that there are alternatives to uh, just what you see on the news right gorgeous areas so there's the covered bridge a lot of people like to come out and do photo shoot sessions out here it's just really nice you got the creek underneath it just a gorgeous view beer is restricted to the shelters look at that nice area there it's 
Just really beautiful. Come back around, we'll go through the bridge again. Just really, really nice. Beautiful shot of the creek there. Coming off the other side. This is where they have the festival, or the fair festival. Really nice. I don't know if that's, is that, is that tennis or what is that? It's like a shortened version of tennis. I don't know what that's called. I'm not uh, cultured enough, I don't think, uh, to know what the heck that game was. Uh, do we well we came down Chapel Hill that's the way we want to leave so let's uh, let's check this side out dog friendly speed bumps look at that crick man huh bring your kids out play in the crick let them catch uh, crayfish and minnows come out here in August and July man that's awesome just gorgeous views huh pretty steep hillside there <clears throat> this is a no hunting area but I bet this place is jam-packed full of turkeys and deer and they say there's some bear out here like I mentioned I bet you there's some big boys out here good shots of the creek a little bit of a tree fall there plugging up the water flow stock trout waters really cool that they come out and stock these creeks perfect creeks for uh, for trout <clears throat> excuse me the uh, I think the uh, Pennsylvania Fish Commission and the Game Commission do a great job out here statewide I mean by that not just this particular location I think they do a good job they're duck Right there. Playgrounds, Henry House, log cabin, observatory, and shelter. Well, you know what? Let's creep up to the. There's another covered bridge. Let's creep up to the observatory, hit the other covered bridge, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. What do you say? Looks like we're still filming, which I'm highly impressed with. Make a right uh, up here. Well, that's a nice shelter, isn't it? That's pretty. Look at that. Bring your family up here. It's a nice area. Cook at. Looks like there's a uh, a beanbag toss there. Sure, very nice. Very nice. <coughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous area up here. Look at that. And they patrol it well. Very well taken care of. Frisbee right there. We 
should have good signal up here, right? Oh, they got a whole frisbee course down there. Not neat. So this little obviously is the highest point, so this would be the uh, observatory, right? You got a bathroom there and everything. Man, that's awesome. So why don't we park right here? And um, what do you say? We uh, check our battery. Cut the bike off. Enjoy this gorgeous view for a moment. Shouldn't be any problems with the GPS up here. Well, we're still recording. It's awesome. Why don't we uh, we'll stop that. There we go. And I think we stopped over here as well. We did. Look at that. Man, I'm very, very impressed with the uh, GPS remote there. Let's, uh, oh, there's deer down there. See him running? All right. Double checking everything. We're recording again. So welcome back. We took a, uh, a quick break up here at the observatory. We, uh, we had a pee break and we uh, switched batteries out on the GoPro. So we were just about dead. So we've got uh, right around 57 minutes worth of footage um, remaining on the SD card. Oh yeah, that is somebody flying a uh, RC plane. Alright, we'll get comfy again on the old bike. We're uh, doing well today, filming well. Not running out of camera space, so that's good. Temps are definitely warming up. <coughs> Did have some deer come out down there, but uh, Let's go ahead and wrap up our journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've enjoyed doing it. Gorgeous area up here. All right, we're filming. <coughs> Fuel looks good, everything looks good. We'll do a flip-flop and go back the way we came. What do you think? One more covered bridge shot. This is the Henry Bridge. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Just gorgeous. We'll turn around up here and get another shot of that uh, covered bridge. And then uh, what do you say we call it a day, huh? A little off-roading with the Riker. Not too horribly bad. Everything as, as it should be. Just gorgeous. All right. So let's, uh, let's move on out and catch the turnpike and Head on back. So this is the route we will take. We got our easy pass down there on the uh, intake.
we should be crossing over the uh, the bridge that we pointed out earlier mentioning the turnpike if you guys recall that looks like they're doing some strip mining up there <clears throat> Finleyville. We drove through there earlier. That's the fastest we've got it. 90 some miles an hour there. Let's take it easy up here. We can't see ahead. It doesn't look like there's any police up here, but got to be careful. Pretty much got the road to ourselves. Elizabeth. I don't know if that's where I want to get off or not, to be honest. Nice view there. Straight on down the valley. Looks like the parade's getting ready to start. I think I can get up out of there. Look at that. How cool is that? That's pretty neat. Very neat. Can't grab my damn zipper. <coughs> Must be close to 9.30. Very nice. But we're wrapping it up now and everything has been fantastic so uh just want you guys to know that if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, dislike, comment. Let me know what you thought of the ride. Your experiences, tips for uh, cameras, etc. But I definitely appreciate you watching. I really do. It's a fantastic, fun hobby. This is Toe 2 Bravo, and uh, until I see you out on the roads again, thanks for watching. <laughs>